I just just the yeah, I've been studying the abilities in California and from our state, and I decided some of these are the people that create white lightning. This side says no name. If you look at this side, it says it's vodka, and it says, well, it's from our state, Frankfurt, Kentucky, or something. Where does vodka come from? Is it from Russia? Is it a Russian recipe? I'm not sure right now. I'm studying this, trying to understand what it means to be ethereal, what kind of drink we drink to be ethereal. I think it's vodka, but then people think I'm not American and that I must be a Russian. Does it mean I'm a Russian? If white lightning's for the country, then I say no. It means that I'm just drinking what is the country drink that helps defend me against psychiatry. They say psychiatry kills. White lightning is the strongest of the medicines in the alcohol department created by the specialists. I believe it might be a country of Billy. Maybe blood, maybe brunette. It cannot be identified as Russian from another country, but might be marketed in that way in because because that's what they want to do. They want to identify white lightning with Russia because the blood from Switzerland and Saad coming there, that looks more durable than the brunettes. And so they believe that maybe the drink could be identified as a Russian drink, but it is not. It probably comes from Texas, where my mom's from. So that's why there is sometimes a time where I'm blonde, sometimes brunette, because it identifies with being a more spiritual being, being ethereal, but I am on this planet right now, as I am. This is me and my natural look as far as I can be, but my etherealness, my angel being, my higher spirit is my blood, my Gloriam or my Clairol or whatever can I do to change my roots to golden blonde or white blonde like Marilyn Monroe. It is a beautiful look, but it is not natural. You can't just walk around with that look and say, Oh, yeah, you know, you have to have a car or you have to have carpool. You can't just wear that. You would have to wear a scarf or so on. And so I have been told that it's not worth it. I've been questioned about my look. But I do like blonde. I do like vodka. And I am the party girl. I am the pretty girl at the party. As I do wear makeup and I... But I also understand how to be natural. I understand dual diagnosis. So that's why I have my channel on YouTube. And there are changes in looks. And I do believe, yes, more wigs. I am willing to have more wigs, more colors, like, like some of the comedians. But I'm not really a comedian. I'm, too, I'm not a comedian, but I think comedy is the way that some people just use to vent out. I am not venting out right now, I'm just explaining about this drink here called vodka. What we really need is to remember that Southern Comfort should be sold at all mini bars, okay? And that the focus now should also be on cocktails, bartenders, and drinks that we need to keep, you know, a natural, you know, not tough turkey person, but they call it like soft meds. It's called liquor. Beer is okay, but I'm trying to identify whether I like beer, the Mexican beer or the American beer, or if I need Belgium beer. It is complicated. I do like cocktails. You know, I'm not against mixed streaks i do i do argue about what is probable i do like wine i do believe that we are threatening the city be the city girl but the descendant could go i do feel that i've been threatened quite enough times about my environment the chairs my bicycle 
if it's for going to the hair salon or if I work in a bicycle shop or if I'm trying to work out away from the gym or whatever it is and that I feel threatened and that's why I mean I'm on a program right now. They cannot do that to me. They cannot threaten me with their cars and not give me carpool or threaten me if I've been a good parent or not in California. I do feel I've been a good parent and that they have put me, you know, in a bad situation where I can't protect my child and she might be in an RV, you know, and then brought over to a uh, project room key for a shower and then sent back to RV. In my opinion, she's been put in many foster cares and I am not pleased with the people they choose for, you know, representing my child in comparison to myself and I've given up cigarettes.